Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Joy, and I am the owner of BBH Customs. And today, I am going to be showing you how to create your very own jumbo card template. I've noticed that a few people have been having some issues with creating your jumbo cards, but this is very simple and very easy to create your template. So on to Day, I am going to be showing you how to create your jumbo card template in Canva. So you can create this in Canva, the basic edition. I will be using the pro edition. You have more options if you have pro. So that will work out um, very well if you have the pro edition. Um, but nevertheless, I'm not going to be very long. This is very quick, simple, and easy. I'm not going to get too, you know, detailed, but at the same time, I'm going to show you what you can do. Once again, I'm going to show you how to basically just create the simple um, template. You know, I'll show you a little design, but from that template, you should be able to um, create your design. This is not a design um course this is not a design tutorial this is a tutorial to show you how to create your template in canva so i am going to share my screen and i'm going to get right to it so give me just a moment and we're going to get to rocking okay Okay, so now you should be able to see my screen. As I told you, this is Canva, and this is the Canva Pro Edition. And what you want to do is once you are on your main Canva screen, you'll notice that you have uh, on your screen, your home screen, you'll see where it says create a design. So you want to select that create a design. When the create a design um, comes up, You'll have uh, several options over here on your left-hand side. What you want to go down to do, you see mine's automatically popped up. But what you want to do in the event it does not, and mine's probably did because I'm always, you know, creating designs. But you want to make sure you go down to custom size. You want to go to custom size. And over here... You're going to notice that your units is going to um, probably populate as being pixels, but you want to change your units to inches, okay? You want to change that to inches, and I am going to go ahead and create today in a design space of a 13 by 19, okay? We're going to create today 13 by 19, as you see, 13 by 19 has already been in. We are going to go ahead and select create new design. Okay, so that's going to create a design space of a 13 by 19. So we have 13 by 19 design space area to work with. Okay, now you see that over to our left, the left of the screen, you'll notice that um, Canva has given us a lot of templates. But what we're going to do, this design space really. Uh, is the start of your creation, okay? From this design space, you can pretty much this is your this is your found this is your foundation. So this rectangle, this uh, portrait mode space is your foundation for your jumbo card. What you want to do is you can select it. If you notice the color wheel that pops up says background color when you select it go ahead and select that and if you would like you see where it's white now if you select the plus sign where it says add a new color go ahead and select a color i am going to go ahead and change that color to red only because this is um a template that is in a tutorial that is being created around um, Valentine's season is so I'm going to go ahead and basically be doing a Valentine design um, as I'm showing you how to create this jumbo card template so I've changed the background to red by adding um, adding a color to our background color okay so now that I've changed the background color to red I am going to go over here to our left side and I'm going to select our elements. So now that I selected the elements, 
there's a couple of things you can do. You can select uh, background colors or background. So I'm going to select, uh, I had select Valentine's Day background. So Valentine's Day backgrounds. I'm going to select see all and I have graphics. So I am going to, I'm just going to stroll down real quick just to see what we have available. You know, just to see um, what's my options and not going to, you know, make it too, you know, not going to be too long. Take it too far down for the sake of the video. But just to show you that you do have multiple choices um, when you do have the Canva Pro. Um, I've been using Pro pretty much since I started using Canva, so I'm not exactly sure how much. Um, you know, of this is available for the basic, but I'm pretty sure that there are some. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this graphic image right here. It matches the red and then it's an image. And I'm going to go ahead and place that image right up here. So it's not all the way to the top. Gives me a little space there. And plus we have, uh, <clears throat> have some working room, you know, on the sides and the top. So now that we have our top image, now we want to work with the bottom. So as you know, most of the times when you're seeing these jumbo cards, you are seeing the beautiful image design that's placed at the top. And then at the bottom, that's where you're seeing the um, clear covering with all the beautiful goodies and, you know, all the um, snacks and everything that's being added. Most of the times, the um, template has a rectangle, square, you know, whatever down there. So what I'm going to be doing on this template is we're going to add a square, um, square slash rectangle. We will shape it as, as we go. So once again, we're going to go back to, I'm going to clear my search for my elements. And as you can already see here where it says shape, that the square has been selected. But in the event you was not, you had not selected, what you would do was you would go in here and type in shapes. Once you type in shapes, then you would select and let's go there. Hit enter. And then your shapes will come up. So I am going to go ahead and select this square, okay? I want to select a square. So the reason why I wanted to select this particular square is because as you can see, all four sides can be adjusted. And that's basically what I want because I'm able to adjust this in, uh, you know, horizontally, vertically, you know, side. I can adjust it multiple ways if need be. So now that I have adjusted it, I am going to move this down. I'm going to place it close to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and most of the, a lot of the um, coverings, some of them like eight by eight, I've used the 11 by 13. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make this um, 11 inches wide, 11 inches wide. And then I'm going to make this 13 tall, okay? So height, height. So 11 wide, 13 high. We'll see how that. It's like, ooh, it's a lot, right? It might have been the other way around, but. That's what I said, but let's go. Let's just go eight by eight. Okay, we're gonna just do eight by eight for the sake of this. For the sake of this uh, tutorial, let's do eight, eight by eight. Okay, eight by eight because I may have needed to do because I was actually doing larger jumbo cards when I actually created mine. So we're gonna do eight by eight, eight width, eight height. Okay. Eight width, eight height. 
It's going to give me a, a square. And if you don't get it exactly, eight, eight, whatever, you, it's not really going to make a difference because this is pretty much just a guide that's going to show, you know, the, the placement of where you're going to put your um, your pan covering or whatever your clear covering is you're going to put here, whatever you desire to put in this area. Then you can go back. Once you get that there, you can go back and adjust the size of your um image at the top if you want to go in and um put in type in valentine happy valentine's day so happy valentine's day you're gonna put that up there and then you'll see i'm gonna select see all and you'll see all of the happy valentine's day that comes up and you can go through, see what may fit you, your liking, and you can um, select which one you would like and add it to your image. So I'm going to put that Happy Valentine's Day right there. And then I will, um, you can take, you know, add a little, some little hearts there. And I'm going to duplicate it, put those hearts there. I'm going to just the size and just like that that's how you actually create your jumbo card now if you're wanting to save your jumbo card what you would do is you would go to share You're going to go to download. You're going to select download. And it's going to download PNG. And what I like to do is I like to um, save my stuff in my downloads. You'll title it what you would like to title it. I'm going to put... I'm going to title mine as Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day tutorial. And I am going to hit save. And then it's going to save in my um, downloads. And it's going to be under Valentine's Day tutorial. And then I will be able to pull this up and um, I'll be able to print it and send it to a printer or print it out my own self. So I hope that this was able to um, assist you in showing you how to create a your very own custom jumbo card template in Canva. Once again, this is Canva's um, Pro, the Pro Edition, but I believe you can create this. I know you can create the template. Um, for sure. And I know you can do um, some designing with the uh, with the basic edition. So once again, thank you. My name is Joy, BBH Customs. You can always find templates and um, other items at bbhcustoms.store. You can find me at my Etsy shop with templates and designs at Designing with BBH Customs. Thank you. And I... Hope you enjoy. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. You watch me on YouTube at BBH Customs. Thank you.